<laughs> Everyone, welcome. Uh, it's the next lobby, and we're doing one slot only. So I imagine most of you already understand the rules, but the idea is when you end your turn, only have a single pet on your team. If you find a slot, you are allowed it as a second thing. Uh, and, you know, third, fourth, etc. if you find multiple. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Any food is allowed, do whatever you want during your turns. And good luck. None of these are that good. And Ant, maybe. Could always pillow them with something else. And give it to an Ant. Not an Ant, a honey. Uh, I'd rather not. We need to buy like a cricket, ideally. Please. <laughs> Single cricket? Okay, cool. Alright, do this. Freeze that. Freeze these. And yeah, let's get going. Alright, we will be the perfect eruptions. Just got triple cricket. Very nice. Prediction payouts? Did I... Wait. Okay. So yeah, let's start pumping this then. I don't want to keep this forever, but like, I need to be a little bit safer, so for now I definitely invest in this. In this. Don't think I want any of this. Like, broccoli maybe, but... I think just pumping apples on here for now is fine. I'm probably keeping this for quite a while. I don't know whether I try and pivot to a stalk or not. It's definitely an improvement. If I find multiple, then definitely. My name is Wet Uncles. Congratulations. Alright, let's see what sort of teams people have. Mix of everything so far. Someone using the back slot. A couple of people. Didn't see anyone using the fourth slot. Kill a Tamarin for your final pet. I mean, that's fine. There's like, there's two good ways to um, pivot at the end. It's either scaling a Tamarin when that's available, or scaling anything and then looking for three frogs and swapping stats that way. I definitely don't do it with the spider. I think for now I do keep like pumping this. Uh... <laughs> nah, well, I'll just keep pushing for the cricket and then for now I'm just going to try and like pump stats onto it. Like, is a meat bone good? Uh... I think it might be. It really depends. If I can't one-shot whatever I'm going against, then I need the meat bone. But the longer, the further in the game I am, the less, like, four attack matters. You know, like, early it's like, oh, this is like a doubling my attack or something. But when everything's, like, 40-40, then a difference of four attack barely makes a difference. Peanut only ended up winning the rabbit lobby. Yeah, makes sense. I also could have seen it being, like, a ton of peanuts at the front, and then either, like, a massive thing at the back or a... I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know if I use a stalk. I also really don't know if I pump broccoli onto this. I'd rather it be really front heavy. Because, like, it, it's kind of favorable if it trades well. Or gets trades, I mean. Oh, uh, come on. I can't even get stats with these things. <laughs> Alright. If I sell this... Do I freeze this? Oh god, I need to find like just crickets like out here. I need to level this thing. Or I don't know, just <laughs> buy sell better. Maybe I should leave the apple and just like try and find as many owls and I don't know, blobfishes to pill maybe. I don't think there's many other things I can use. Definitely get some stats with clownfish if I can get like another one on here. You need more emperor tamarins. How, wait, how many do you have? Oh. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Very, very close, but bad. Alright, okay, well, look, here's some stats. That's something, at least. And I may try by selling the stoat, because if it turns into an owl, then it's very nice. It didn't. <laughs> Obviously, the odds weren't that high, but... thought it was worth going for. Do I freeze a snail? Like, it's the same as an otter at best. I think I leave it. Uh, avocado. Hmm. Oh, wait, what can I get from the other tiers, though? Like, getting melon from next tier would be amazing. But I don't really care about anything else here, so, like, maybe I do try and roll as much as I can now. Try and find, um... I don't know, I guess I need freeze pills for now, but, yeah. I, I kind of like the stuff at tier 3. I just need owls and blobfish. No better pill, I guess. If I saw a better fish, then I definitely didn't remember. Okay, here we go. Like, I, I take these straws. I'm fine with draws. I just don't want to be losing all my HP early for no reason. 
And <laughs> I wish I could buy sell the mouse and then buy an avocado, but can't do that. But what do I do? Do I just buy an avocado and roll anyway? Still gives me a couple of gold to look for like an owl. Yeah, perfect. All right, and I don't think it's worth buying a garlic because like most of the time these things are only going to hit one thing anyway. So you just need to make sure that one thing makes it a trade, which is why I'm going for a slightly attack heavy thing instead of like being defensive. Unless I'm running against like a big sheep, I doubt um, garlic's going to get much value. I like the single door head out. That's kind of funny. It's hunting the crickets around. Single Doberman. I love it. Seeing weird frog stuff happening. Okay. You're looking for a third frog so you can swap your stats. Yeah, I should probably be going for that soon. Or maybe. I don't know whether I like really lock in on this. Because like the more I invest in this, for stats at least, uh, you know, the better it will be when I do pivots. But... I need to work out what I'm pivoting to anyway. Because, like, I know Rooster can be strong, Orca can be strong, Octopus can be strong. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Leopard, maybe, if it's, like, massive. Hmm. Leave it for now, at least. Alright, yeah, do this. Just get stats on here for now. Just keep pushing for that. Yeah, I'd rather have a, a fifth shop slot before I start freezing random stuff. Because right now, most of my scaling is going to come from this side. Probably. Or maybe not. There's only one thing, anyway. Like, I'm mostly just looking for owls and then bears, so I guess it's kind of equal across. You're swapping the stats next turn onto an emperor. But why? Surely the benefit of, like, the emperor is getting it early. Because then you're going to have to, like, swap twice. Which, obviously, the Emperor swap is a lot easier, but... You know, the Emperor itself isn't amazing in fights. So unless you can swap quickly, I don't know how worth it that is. Oh, come on. Just... <laughs> Stats, please. Stats I can use. I don't want to, you know, level this with a crow. I can freeze this in case I, like, find regular chocolate, but I just don't want to do it. Apple doesn't feel worth it either. Okay, well, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to unfreeze this again. Who knows when I'm going to find a pill, and I feel like it's not really worth it. How long do the streams last? Three to four hours? Usually on uh, Sundays, it is four hours. Do you need an Avo for the frog swap? Yeah, you need extra gold, because it would cost you, like, 12 total, I think. Because you'd need to buy three frogs, and then the pet you want to swap the stats onto. So, you know, you need to be able to afford that one way or another, whether you're getting more gold or... I don't know. I don't know, something something has to happen. Alright, definitely by selling this. I st still can't tell if I do this or not. I still don't know what I do with octopus either. Like, do, do I go for an octopus or do I just go really hard on like finding a rooster? I can see Nyala being fine, or maybe a Highland Cow. I think I do wait for tier 6s, actually. This doesn't do a ton. It's only going to affect one thing. So you roll that. Roll that. I'm going to start buying avocados. And, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving whatever this junk is. Alright. Yeah, cow. We just, look, we need the stats. Now I definitely need to start looking for frogs, though. Hoping it won't take too long. Cheetah had a turtle. Oh, that is definitely bad. Yeah, so that obviously shouldn't have happened. Mojo, you've been, like, messing up a lot. Can you please try? <laughs> Okay, safe fight so far. You can sell a cow? You can sell something last turn either. Alright. So yeah, I can maybe try a rooster, but I'm not freezing that until I can find like a ton of ton of frogs and stuff. Alright. Hmm, I'm gonna keep buying these. Okay, one frog. I will also freeze the cow because I do still want to stuff on there. Freezing chocolate's okay as well, to be honest. But I also want to buy sell the cow, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. Another frog. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll buy a pair. I'm fine putting more stats on here for now. Then, you know, the second I pivot, it'll all be on my new thing. <laughs> it's so strong, I love it. I think it depends what you go against. Because if you go against something that is, like, you know, strong enough to bounce into it twice, then you may just still trade. 
you know like you know two if you go have like a 30 30 doberman it goes into like a 35 35 anything else then they still trade i think damn i like punched straight through that i'm very sorry mike all right let's get stats on here and then yeah so i can freeze the chocolate and then i can just like look for some other thing i'd have to find at least one avocado debating like saber tooth but i don't think i want that I mean, this is an idea, but I don't love it. I could even freeze this if I wanted to. That's a way to get, like, one gold. I may actually do that. If I find another one of these, then I can do it that way as well. Ah, oh, fine. Look, I'll, I'll find more chocolates. <laughs> I need the stats while I'm here. And yeah, sure, this is the... The chocolate is back. So now I need to find... I don't know, do I do the rooster? See, there's a... There's an octopus. <laughs> I don't want to. Let's do something else. No second cow. So yeah, I'm looking for an octopus or a highland cow, I think. I think they could be, both be interesting. I think octo or highland cow is the best. I mean, again, there's a bit of a rock, paper, scissors going on because if you have, like, an octo with a mushroom or a, um, a pepper or something, then I think it always beats a giant, giant rooster. But, like, Giant Highland Cow, I think, may lose to Rooster. At, you know, level 3, 50-50 type stuff. So, I, I don't know. And who knows? I'm pretty sure uh, Octo would lose to Highland Cow. So, there's uh, definitely weird stuff going on. I just need to pick something. I don't know if I'd do Eagle, though. Yeah, fine. I'll freeze Rooster. We can do that next turn, then. Oh, the chocolates. Uh, I actually will freeze that, because I don't need it all for the frogs. No, wait, I still need an avocado. Yeah, I need more gold. I can get one gold with this, but I'd still need one extra. So I either need to find another oyster or an avocado here. Or just another frog so I can unfreeze this chocolate and put stuff that way. Ah, yeah, okay. Let's do Octo. Octo is more interesting. Please, avocado. Okay, so I can do it next turn. And... This is only a 2-2 buff, but I still think it's probably better than whatever else I might be able to do. And yeah, after I get this Octo on the team, I'm going to need to try and level it as fast as possible. So I'm going to leave the Owl for now, I think, and just hard roll to try and find it some like good equipment. And then and then I don't even know, just levels. Like freeze Blobfish, buy Octopuses and Crow Chocolate and Chocolates, all of that. That's interesting. Why would you have Pepper on there? Are there, like, starter combat snipes that may trigger it first? And even if there is, would it be enough to kill it? I can be orcas. There are a ton of these dopamins around. This is also interesting. Sorry, this, I mean. Yeah, you could do, like, a beluga whale and then feed that an octopus. It won't get a shot right at the start of combat, but I could see that being amazing. Pepper for swordfish? Yeah, but, like, you have to think about how many people are doing different strats. Alright. Because if there's only, like, one person doing Swordfish, then <laughs> is it worth making that kind of play? Anyway, there we go. We have a very large octopus. I could give him a banana, but I don't want that long term. Pepper is decent. Probably not my preferred choice, but it's something. And there we go. We can do a lot of things here, actually. I can even level it next turn. Awesome. Alright, so if I go against, like, a 50-50, it won't die in one shot. Unless that 50-50 is, like, another octopus. Because it will break my pepper before it can actually hit it. Sabertooth might be amazing. I mean, it might be. It suffers from the same problems as, like, everything else. Where, like, sure, if you give it, like, pepper, then you're guaranteed a trigger. But on a lot of other things, you still lose. Because like, I imagine you still lose to a rooster, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> That should have been a win! That felt like a scam. Alright. Well. Let's get this thing leveled up and then some stats. And yeah. I'll, I'll keep by selling cows. I need to give it like a mushroom or something though. Probably. I don't even know. <laughs> I just feel bad that it's almost like 50 HP but not 50 attack. Like, it makes this feel bad. But Dom Perry, thank you for the two months. The Prime. Very kind of you. How's one slot going? 
uh, is, is going. Still have a giant duck up here. Maybe I should have just stuck with my cricket for longer. Okay, so <laughs> this rooster is almost like, you know, completely maxed out. Does Octopus snipe the enemy multiple times? It does now. It does now, yeah. Before, when it's only level 1, it'll only do it once. So yeah, I can do this. A mushroom was what I was thinking, because it protects it from other octopuses. Yeah, so it protects it from other snipes if anyone has like one of these or something. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a slightly better play. So I'm going to throw that on there. If I sell this, that will to you. And we're still trying to level it. I just need to find more of those. And this is for attack. That's probably worth buying. Because obviously HP doesn't make a difference anymore. But if I find one more pretzel, then it's like capped out. But yeah, if I find any pills, then each pill is also kind of a level for it. I have Doberman right now, but I think I need to pivot to tier 6. Yeah, like, Doberman, I definitely win against the Doberman if it, my thing was 50-50. I won anyway, but... <laughs> yeah, it would have been an easy win if it was 50-50, I think. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. So, I have all the stats I could want. I just need to finish finding levels for it. And there one is, okay. Hey, Milky, good day to you too. <laughs> Sloth dominates this lobby. It does, yeah. If someone gets a slot, it's basically GG. Assuming they have some time to actually do stuff with it. But, I don't know, just having like an extra 1-1 one, one at the back would also be very significant for a lot of these fights. Maybe not against an octopus. But, yeah. For like most of these things, I imagine there'll be a lot of like draws or, you know, bear wins from like a tiny summon afterwards. You don't know if Mushroom on the 50-50 rooster would be better than Melon. Again, it depends what you go against, and well, as well as also depending on whether the stuff summons behind or in front of the chicks. Because in one of these lobbies, I was like, I died because we had the same matchup, but my rooster spawned in front of mine, and they spawned behind it, so they got more spawns in total, and they won that way. And it was a complete scam, and I'm still salty about it. <laughs> Uphill, okay. I'm gonna do this one, but it's not really a good reason for it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so buying and pilling something is definitely the play. I'll just unfreeze another one of these now, and I can do it with a tap here next turn. I am on 1 HP, but this is the team. Like, next turn, I get this thing leveled up, and then I don't know what I do. <laughs> I think I do just, like, doom roll for slots. That's all I have left. Let's see, though. So, yeah. Large Highland Cow. I don't think I can beat this team. I think a rooster might be able to. But yeah, definitely not me. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Froggy. <laughs> I'm still salty when you cheated in the Nuzlocke when it was just you and me left and you would have won anyways. That was over a year ago. Ah, uh, I remember that. I genuinely do remember that. <laughs> oh, of course, another one. Alright. Uh, but yeah. This is my team. I maybe could change the equipment if I know who I'm going against, but there's so much variety now that I don't know if it matters. So, yeah, we're rolling for sloths. Show me a sloth. Octo better than rooster, rooster better than highland cow, and highland better than octo. Yep. <laughs> God, I thought I was over this illness, but my throat is still kind of messed up. I saw like a tiny Highland cow down there. I'm sorry. Oh, yep. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, so I can't beat this team. I'm relying on the rooster squads to beat this guy. Oh, no, never mind. I'm just dead. I forgot I was on 1 HP. 